Hi, this is Alan with Alan's Firearms and Guns Plus More. And today, this is a Harrington and Richardson Sportsman. Notice I have gloves on for this one again because I don't even want to touch the finish on this firearm. I picked this up recently at a gun show and had to pull out something out of my collection to sell in order to keep this, and I am keeping it. This is not a very valuable gun, the way it, but it is very rare to find with this configuration, with the vented rib barrel and in mint condition. I have never seen one in this condition, actually. Not even ones in the box. This is spectacular. It is a 22 9 shot revolver that is a break top. So you can see how that works. And I'm going to bring this to the workbench and go over it a little more with you, give you a little better view of this beauty, because it is incredible. It has charcoal gray bluing, which is very reminiscent of the old Colts that, uh, I mean, the crafting on this is amazing. Very few machine marks on it, and it's in, like, like I said, mint condition. So we're going to bring this over the workbench and take a closer look at it. I'm sure you're going to enjoy looking at this. Hi, here we are at the workbench with the beautiful Harrington and Richardson H&R <clears throat> model 999 Sportsman. And you can see on the video how spectacular the finish is on this. I mean, there are a couple of little marks on it, but you'll never find one that's absolutely perfect. These were inexpensive shooters. They made fine handguns, but they weren't expensive. This one happens to have an adjustable uh, rear sight, which I can see has a little couple little marks on it, so the adjustment has been used, or someone tried to. Um, there is a couple of, you can't help machine marks, but there's a couple of little, little marks on it, which is to be expected from a 50-year-old gun. But look at this. I mean, look at the finish on that. So this is how this gun works. You hold the rear sight and lift, let me get a better picture of that. You hold the rear sight and lift, and as you lift, the auto ejector pops up and it kicks the shells out. And there you have a Harrison and Richardson top brake pistol, which looks like this thing has not been fired. It is just in spectacular condition. Now to clean this, and that's how, to remove the cylinder, if you wanted to clean the cylinder, there is this little button right in here. And you just press that down, and the cylinder comes right off. And that way you can clean the cylinder, which you would take your cleaning rod and go into each one of these. You'd clean the back of front of your cylinder off. After you clean off all your chambers, you would clean off this rod and oil it. And then all you have to do now is to clean out the barrel, is put a rod down your barrel. And to put this back together again, you just slide this on here like that, and it clicks right in. Let's check the function on that now. And there you go. This is a double action, as you can see, or single action. Oh my God. The, the, the action on this is just unbelievable. And I think you can see why I decided to sell my Smith & Wesson 422 in order to keep this one. This is just, I just can't wait to shoot it. I'm going to have to shoot it with gloves on. <laughs> but even the wood, the wood is, is spectacular. So I hope you enjoyed this little dog and pony show of the Harrison, the H&R 999 Sportsman 22 9 shot. And um, please like and subscribe and come back again. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you for joining me on the Harrison and Richardson Sportsman 22.